Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. But for this week, we're going to be talking about the NHL. As we are heading down to the home stretch here, there are several playoff positions still up for grabs. So we're going to take a look at some games here for February the 14th. It's a very uh, small slate of games on schedule, actually four, only four, but we'll go down through and take a look at them. But remember, if you're not already a member, please join up so you can have access to this uh, Z-Code VIP club section, which has all the, the best tools that you can have to help make your bets more efficiently. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these games here. Scroll down through the page here, and we'll take a look at the Montreal Canadiens and the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Canadiens enter play fifth in the Atlantic Division. They have a 14-9-3 road record, and they will head to Pittsburgh to face the Metropolitan Division's second place team, the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Penguins are 19-5-4 at home. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you see they have a nice edge of plus 27 to plus 16. Right now, both teams are not playing particularly great at the moment. Average for the Canadians, they have, uh, well, they lost one, uh, they lost two out of their last six, so they're actually playing fairly well, four and two over their last six. Penguins are average up at the moment. They have lost their last game, and they are three and three over their last six. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups this season, you'll take notice that the Penguins won the last meeting three to two in overtime on the road, and the Canadians won the first game between the teams by a four to one margin, also on the road. If you're considering the over and under in this game, take a look here. You will see Montreal is playing in games trending under the line, the red line compared to the blue line. And Pittsburgh is playing in games trending over the line, the red line above the blue line. So in that case, I generally try to avoid the over-under since they're on opposite sides of the line. Take a look at how stable the two teams have been. How consistently are they performing according to their favorite underdog status? You see Montreal not so much at minus four. So take their favorite underdog status with a grain of salt. Uh, Pittsburgh, though, is at plus eight. So they're performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status. I don't expect much problem for Pittsburgh in this one, actually. Uh, look for Pittsburgh to get the first home win between the teams this season. So let's take a look at another game here. Just scroll down through there to the second matchup. The New York Rangers and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Although having a solid 12-11-2 road record, at uh, 7th in the Metropolitan Division, the Rangers are going nowhere quickly. They take on the Blue Jackets, who are fourth in the same division, and are actually quite good at home, 18, 10, and 3 at home. You see both teams are in the average category right now. The Rangers are average up. They have actually won their last two and are 4 and 2 over their last six. Columbus is average down at the moment. They have lost their last two after winning their previous three. Take a look at the head to head matchup. You will see that both teams have won their games on the road, 1 and 1. Both Winning on the road, as I said, uh, Columbus a 2-1 winner on January the 19th, and the Rangers a 3-2 winner on December the 5th. Two, two very close games. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Columbus has a clear advantage of plus 24 compared to plus 13. And we already looked at the head-to-head -head matchup. We don't need to do that again. So let's look at the total predictor if you're considering the over and under. You see here that the Rangers are trending in games playing under and they were trending in games over as you can see here all the way back to uh you know december of last year at the end of december of last year they're playing in games trending over the line but now they're trending slightly under and you can see that columbus is trending well under and they have done so for quite some time so you might want to go under on this one because of the uh, trends that we are seeing at the moment if you take a look at the volatility oscillator, how stable the two teams are at the moment, you can see that Columbus is at plus seven. You know, pretty stable. And the Rangers, not so much at zero. So again, take their favorite underdog status lightly when considering the bet on this one. There's a little to indicate, though, that the Rangers can pull up a road upset. So I think the Blue Jackets will win this one probably by two goals. New Jersey Devils and the Carolina Hurricanes. If you look at this matchup here, we're always going right for New Jersey this season. They have not done well in any stretch of the imagination as they are last in the 
Metropolitan Division. They're 12, 15, and 0 on the road, which isn't actually terrible considering their last place standing. Columbus, on the other hand, is 6th in the, in the same division, and they are 18, 9, and 1 at home. So they have done very well at home. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see here that Carolina has a plus 23, a plus 11 advantage. Both teams are on the upward trend. Head-to-head, -head, you will see that they only played one game so far this season, and New Jersey won that one 5-3, to three, but that was way back on November the 2nd. They won that as a heavy road underdog. You see right now, New Jersey is ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last six. The Hurricanes at the moment are burning hot. Even though they lost their last game, they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. Considering the over and under, here's New Jersey playing in games trending slightly over the line. And Carolina is playing in games also try slightly over the line, so I would consider betting the over in this one. Again, we always like to look at the stability. How consistently are they performing? Well, you can see Carolina is pretty consistent, plus six. They're over, you know, the zero line, which is anything above zero is, is consistent. The farther over you are, the more consistent you are, and the farther under, of course, the more inconsistent you are. You can see New Jersey is at plus one. So what does this mean as far as making the predictions for this game? Well, I'm not really seeing New Jersey having much of a chance in this one. Uh, even though they won the first meeting, that was way back, and teams are totally different at the moment. Carolina is the much better team, and they should win this one going away. The San Jose Sharks at the Winnipeg Jets. San Jose, you see, is averaged down at the moment. They have lost their last game, and they have won three out of their last six. Winnipeg, burning hot at the moment. Even though they lost their last game, they won four out of their previous five. So in general, they have been playing very well. Winnipeg enters their home game, the fourth, fourth best record in the Central Division. They are 14, 13, and 3 at home. The Sharks are seventh in the Pacific, 10, 14, and 3 on the road. Head to head, you will see Winnipeg has won both games this season, both on the road, won by a 5 to 1 margin. And the other one, 3-2. to two. But you can see those were very early in the season, back in November of last year. You consider the over and under. San Jose is playing in games trending under the line. Winnipeg is playing in games trending over the line. Again, when that happens, generally I say avoid the over-under. It's too unpredictable. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see both teams are on a little bit of an upward trend. Actually, quite a bit of an upward trend here for Winnipeg. They were plus 6 back on February the 6th, and they're all the way up to plus 19. And San Jose is slightly on the upward trend, and they're up at plus 11. So what do we consider here for the total outcome of this game? Well, before I do that, let's take a look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been. Again, we see a little bit of an up and downward trend between the and on the stability chart here, but San Jose is at plus seven, more stable than Winnipeg, who is at plus one, but they at least are above the zero line. They were under it for quite some time in the negative. So putting it all together, I think there really is not a great chance for San Jose to win on this one. So the Jets' dominance should continue, and I think a win should be probably by two goals or more. So. Before we go here, I want you to take a look at the top of performing automated systems. To get that, let's just scroll back up to the top here. You will find it right here under hot trends. You see here top automated systems. When you click that, you will see that the top automated systems page comes up. And it's really good. You can select by sports. So you want to select by uh, NHL. Scroll down here and go to NHL. And then you can see all the top systems here. Most people like to look at it by profit. That's how it's listed here. Profit 32,164. And you can see the profit numbers go down here on the right side, the right column. And you click on the systems and they have great profit charts. And you, look, and, and you can look at a bunch of other things like, uh, you know, trust factor percentage. Depending on how much you want to go into all these different stats, there's all different kinds of things you can look at. So anyway, you have to join, though, to have access to all these great tools. So there you have it. I hope you will enjoy this week's action, and we will see you next time.